Anything else you want to say to your fans, man? Ah oh, man, shout out to Dante's Boxing Nation. You know, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, Earl Spence Jr. My whole name, and just look out for me. Yo, this is Amir Khan, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Yeah, I'm gonna push them. They gotta give it a shot or they gotta vacate or whatever, but somebody gonna give me something. Oh, you gonna be on that hashtag? Just give me my belt, huh? Yeah, give me my like, belt. Like, man. Love give me my belt. <laughs>
we know this because there would be no reason for them to try to convince fans that it makes more sense that the champion doesn't fight the number one contender who's undefeated and is being praised as the next star or the next Floyd or, or whoever you want to compare him to. They're trying to convince you it doesn't make sense to fight that guy. Oh, but it makes sense for him to fight the guy who just got knocked out and will probably be out of the ring for a whole year before he gets back in the ring. That makes more sense because it's a quote unquote grudge match. When even the guy who's a participant in this grudge match is saying that doesn't make sense. Even he's saying none of this makes sense. You know what Amir Khan said a week ago or whenever it was? He said, that doesn't make sense. I, I, I would lose respect for Kell Brook if he were to give up his belt just to avoid a tough opponent. He said, what are you in the sport for if you're willing to give up your belt just because you have a tough opponent in front of you? This is what Amir Khan said. And you know what? Just to prove, as I always do, that I practice what I preach, let me ask you guys a question. When is the last time you have ever heard me saying that the champion should avoid his number one contender, which will be his toughest opponent, and is, a, and is being praised as the next big thing in the sport, he should avoid that guy so he can fight this guy who just got knocked out. When have you ever heard me say something that damn ridiculous? You ain't never heard me say that. Because those are things that decaf say. Dumb, casual ass fans that are emotionally attached and base things on nothing but emotion. I leave you with this. If Kell Brook still vacates, even though Amir Khan has already made it clear he's not gonna fight him, and that's the fight that the fans said that Kell Brook should take before the Errol Spence fight. If the Amir Khan fight is no longer on the table and Kell still vacates, oh my God, that would be a real bad look for Kell Brook. And I think even the Kell Brook fans would agree with that assessment. That would be a real bad look. Let's see what happens. That's all I got, guys. I'm on to the next one. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo!